Oh my gosh. Re revitalize macadamia nut. Happiness. Always. <laughs> well, those are your final answer. Now read them. <laughs> Realistic incandescent hippopotamus. <laughs> everyone, it's Cody and thank you so much for joining me again today on Living and Living Well. Today I want to talk about how to help your eyesight and I'm not particularly talking about if you've got really large thick glasses like me, but I'm talking about when your eyes feel really strained or tired or you've got little floaters or they're a little blurry. I want to help you learn what it is that's going on in your body and how to help your eyes kind of return back to what they felt like before. I became interested in this topic because I noticed starting probably like eight months ago when I had my son that my eyesight started to change. I've always had really bad eyesight in general, but now I have a really hard time like it's like almost like a lens trying to focus in the distance. It takes my eyes a little while to, to really focus. I wanted to really understand better what's going on underneath my skin. And what I found is actually really interesting. Common symptoms for weakening eyesight include liver malfunction, too much homework, a baby that never sleeps, a bad liver mainly, <laughs> allergies, poor diet, and not getting enough usable proteins and minerals within your food. The common symptoms from these common causes include easily strained eyes or eyesight that gets more blurry as the day goes on, frequent headaches like over the eyes or behind the eyes, and like little spots and floaters before the eyes. Before we get to my three tips today, I really want you to understand the correlation between your liver and eyesight. The blood that's within the liver that gets cleaned in the liver Liver is the same blood that is then sent to your eyes to help like moisten them and help them function properly and so when your liver is inflamed or when it's malfunctioning in any way that's what starts to cause all of these symptoms to start happening with your normal vision and so today I want to discuss three ways to either temporarily relieve the strain on your eyes or also how to permanently help clean out the liver so that way you get rid of this issue that's happening to your eyeballs. So let's get started with tip number three. A really natural, quick way to feel some relief in that eye strain and that puffiness that you may have in your eyes is by using chamomile and witch hazel. What you wanna do is boil some chamomile tea. After it's sat and it's simmered and it's soaked for a little while, put that chamomile tea in the refrigerator to cool down. After it's cooled, take a couple of cotton balls and soak them in the chamomile tea. Then go ahead and sit down, relax, lay down, and place the chamomile on your closed eyes. I would recommend testing this on your skin at first to make sure that you don't have any irritation to chamomile on your skin in general before you put it on your eyes. The cooling anti-inflammatory effect that chamomile tea has really helps relieve that dry eyed inflamed pain that you're feeling after a long day of work. What's also great is that chamomile not only helps topically, but if you drink the chamomile tea, it also has an anti-inflammatory effect on that liver of yours that's feeling a little inflamed right now. Also, the flavonoids within the tea help stabilize the liver cell membranes, right? You've got lots of little cells that make up your liver. The membrane is the outside of the cell, the shell of the cell, I guess you could say and it helps stabilize that membrane, which helps prevent liver disease in the future, also helping to maintain your eyesight in the long run. Then witch hazel, if you have it in your cabinet, is a great little home remedy to help with that puffiness and sag you may feel underneath your eyes. What it does is it helps tighten the skin. and It's also an anti-inflammatory as well. And so you wanna take a little bit of witch hazel on a cotton ball. Do not get this in your eyeball directly. Just wipe it underneath the eyes let it sit there and soak in for a little bit and then wash off really thoroughly. Tip number two. I wanna go underneath the skin and talk about diet. If you've seen a lot of my other videos, I talk about diet frequently because it really is a large determining factor on the function of your organs. And since we're talking about the liver today, what you wanna avoid is sugar, refined food, pasteurized dairy, and red meats. All of this causes more inflammation on that liver. These foods cause the body to metabolize slowly, which then ends up forming clogging crystallizations within the liver. So be a best friend to that liver of yours and stop eating foods that's causing it more inflammation so that your eyesight can improve. And my number one best tip is 
Bilberry extract! Bilberry looks a lot like blueberries, but its healing properties are very different. Bilberries help support the growth of connective tissue, and they also help strengthen the walls of your blood vessels. And so this will help with blood circulation and help with blood returning back to your eyesight. They help strengthen the nerves and the connective tissue that work the eye and that help focus it and unfocus it. It helps get rid of those floaters that are floating in front of your eyes. It helps bring more moisture to them so you're not sitting there with your eyes burning burning all the time. What's also really neat about bilberry extract is that it helps reduce the concentration of nitric oxide within the liver, which nitric oxide, if left unattended and it starts accumulating a lot in the liver, will lead to liver disease in the future. So by taking bilberry extract, you're not only improving the blood and blood circulation in your body and improving the connective tissue in your eyeballs, but you're also helping clean out the liver. So like bilberry extract is like the number one product to help improve what's going on underneath your skin, causing your bad eyesight. A neat fact is that in World War II, British fighter pilots would put bilberry jam on their toes to help improve their vision. It is also known to help treat damaged retinas and also prevent eye problems such as cataracts, glaucoma, and macular degeneration. And bilberry really does come in all sorts of forms. You can have it in a juice, you can have it in teas, you can have it in jam, and you could of course have it in those vision caps. And so whatever way you wanna incorporate in your diet, if you're really struggling with your eyesight, that's my number one tip. Start adding more bilberry into your diet to help strengthen the body from the underneath the skin. Also, improve that diet by getting rid of that sugar, pasteurized dairy, red meats, and etc. And then also make sure that you're taking time at the end of the day to kind of help bring some relief to the eyes by either putting some chamomile on your eyes or drinking some chamomile tea and placing a little bit of witch hazel to help with that puffiness. And all of these things you'll notice help improve that eyesight and help you feel a lot better as you're going throughout your day trying to work and look at computers and raise your kids and see the road <laughs> and look at birds and mountains. So as you experiment with these things, as you try them, put in the comments below your experience, like what's helping you and what's working. I hope you have a wonderful day. And remember, there's a difference between just living and living well. And that's my goal is to help you live well, to live better, to understand what's going on underneath your skin, to be body wise and to just rock at life all the time. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you next time. It, um, it might be a little bit. Oh, there is a porcupine in my book. <laughs> Hakuna Matata. Hey, you got that one. <laughs> <laughs> There's a snake in my boot. <laughs> okay. Bears beats Battlestar Galactica. <laughs> of course. Wow, that's a world of a difference.